one of the first things that I recognized when he got here. I knew he was going to be a good player, but I had no idea. This is not your average 320-pound man. The combination of his physicality, his athleticism, his raw strength, and then his football IQ. I like to be physical, finesse, uh, use my athletic ability. He moves so well in comparison to most of the defensive line. He's got great change of direction. He can rush the passer. He can block. He's the quarterback of the punt team. He makes all the calls, and he loves it. You know, by the way, he catches touchdown passes. Not a bad catch and run by Wilkins, the big fella either. Turns into a fullback right there. And probably run it and throw it as well. I try to tell the coaches that too. So if you want to keep scoring a lot of touchdowns, just keep putting me in on offense. Everyone knows who knows me knows I like to joke around, I like to have fun and everything. He's got a big sense of humor. He's always he's a practical joker, and he kind of pulled one over on me when he committed. I knew he was making a decision, so when he called me, I answered the phone, obviously kind of anxious. I was just like went on for probably like five minutes just talking about like, oh yeah, coach, thank you for recruiting me this far. Like, I really appreciate everything. I just, I love Clemson. I love everything about it. He's just listening, and you could just tell like, you know, there was some like tension. He just knew that I, was gonna, I wasn't gonna commit and say this wasn't the place for me. After those five minutes, I was just like, but. And so my heart just sank, because I knew the butt was coming, but that's why I want to come to Clemson to be a Tiger, you know? And I'm like, what? Because it was totally not what I was expecting. Coach Sweeney was happy that I'm here, and I'm happy, I'm happy I made the choice to come. That is him. I mean, he just loves that type of stuff. He's always having fun. Get go, I'm like, wow, what a unique young person. Very smart and articulate and just big minded. Way more than just a good football player. He went to a great school, uh, Suffield Academy up there in Connecticut. Suffield, oh man, that probably was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. Essentially, his life for four years was mostly here on campus. And when he first got here, there was a learning curve. He had to adjust to who we were. Freshman year of high school and everything, I really struggled just academically, and a lot was going on at that point in my life. So, Suffolk really was just a place for me to go and re really start over. Obviously, he's a great athlete and, and uh, he's plays football at a high level, but, but I always start with the type of young man he is. Just a great, great character guy. I met great coaches, great friends I'll have for the rest of my life. The overall experience that I had there really, you know, can't compare to anything. It was really the best thing that could have happened for me. When your best player and best athlete is also your hardest worker and understands that team involves everyone, then that, that makes my job easier. If I had to pick a place between the Northeast and the Southeast, I would go with, let's go the Northeast just to keep the family and, and the home happy. <laughs> Do not mistake that sense of humor and that, that gregarious personality for a lack of competitiveness. I came in confident and I had a certain level of respect for the guys that were already here, but also at the same time, I've always been used to being the guy. His physical prowess is unusual, even by the standards of uh, Clemson defensive linemen of years past. You're looking at a truly disruptive force in college football. I don't think there's any question he, he's got the ability to play at the highest level. He's going to play as long as he wants to play. Uh, he's, a, he's got that type of ability. Ultimately, I hope just to play the game as long as I can and continue to love it and have fun. He's a great human being that is going to do phenomenal things in the world. He just happens to be a great football player. And uh, that's just a small part of who he is as a person.